I enjoy some of the old and I enjoy the new. And if I can find a balance between it, that's where I, where I find my satisfaction. And then this brings us to the 110 plus one racing edition. Now, many people have jumped on to the 110 hype train, rightfully so. I think for some reason there are still people that are reluctant to try the plus one, but I'm telling you right now you need to be. Between these three jerk baits, I mean, these three baits right here account for 80% of my, my rip bait fish. There are times when I catch them on the Kanata, on the X80, or one of the other baits in the lineup, or the 110 Magnum. But for the most part, it's usually one of these three that gets it done for me. And the plus one's an important one. Anytime I'm fishing a little bit deeper in the column where I, I need to get this bait down to fish, let's say a bluff wall or the deeper part of the point or a deep grass bed or some submerged trees and I want to get just through the top of the trees, the plus one is going to be one of my primary lures. And because of the different build design, it's also got a much sharper, more aggressive side-to-side -side turn. Once again, a little bit different swimming jerking profile than the standard 110 or the Shiner. And those of you guys that don't have multiple rods and that you can fish multiple baits on, that's exactly how I started fishing the small decoy egg snaps. You can have one jerkbait rod and just quickly make bait changes and color changes and adjust accordingly without having to retie as much. That's why the heavy fluorocarbon leader is important because it keeps us fishing instead of retying. It's all about efficiency, guys. Get some plus ones. That freaking color is so sick. And I think this is GP Moss Orange Belly. A little bit translucent. The golds and the oranges work well for me in those light in those low light conditions, cloudy days, maybe some clearer water. I'm gonna pick something like this over at Akatora. Pump to get that one wet. And of course I can't I can't hit the road without my new favorite topwater bait from last season and the White Road Adventure. The Explos, slow sinking version. Oh man, if you guys haven't watched the videos, um, click on the link here. <laughs> they crush this thing, man. This is a special bait. NCHT Kenihara, same color pattern as this 110. Flat out gets it done. You know, it, it, this is an amazing search bait. When I'm fishing these big waters and I gotta cover ground and locate fish, I can fish this thing really fast up on top like a buzz bait. Stop and go, vary the cadence, vary the speed, and locate fish quickly and good fish. Those props throw off a very unique sound and displace a lot of water. And when you, when you fish this thing on a snap like I do, it allows the bait to really oscillate with this gnarly body roll that adds to the overall fishiness of it, man. It's, it's, it's a special bait. And the best part of it is the few instances where the fish would miss, especially smallies, all I would do is stop my retrieve briefly, let the bait sink subsurface, and now it's a subsurface spy bait. And I probably wouldn't get more than two turns of the handle before they came back and just crushed it. So it's the perfect follow-up bait for itself. You guys should uh, check out the tackle breakdown video linked here up above if you haven't already. We go through exactly how we'd like to fish this thing. People are still sleeping on this thing. They're not the right guys. I had a lot of questions last, last fall about this bait and rightfully so. Okay. 
Up next is a Mega Bass Vibration X Junior. Now this is a smaller size bait right here. Half ounce rattle version. They also make them in silence. But this is a new one. That's a, a, a baby bass pattern. With a lot of these fish now in post spawn and a lot of the yearlings from last season up shallow, baby bass becomes a very dominant pattern for me. And it has always been one of my confidence colors because it didn't matter where I fished. If I'm bass fishing, there's gonna be juvenile bass in the water. And they are highly, highly cannibalistic. And I got friends who, for some reason, have weird mental blocks about using baby bass pattern lures, but it's a prey species that applies literally everywhere you're bass fishing. So it's a very logical choice for me. This is a little bit smaller size hard bait too. You know, that's gonna be close to that quarter ounce mini trap that I used to fish as a kid. You're gonna get a lot of bites on a bait this size, but because of the water displacement and the, the presence in the water and the noise, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna draw some better than average bites on this style bait versus a plastic worm most of the time. Vibration X Junior. And then, you know, dirty water situations. Blue and chartreuse is just a hard color to beat when you got low visibility. The orange belly on the splash. That's gonna get it done right there. Stay tuned for that. And then I've been catching some good fish this spring, including crappie <laughs> on the six inch mag draft in nude bass. And once again, goes back to all the theories and concepts regarding juvenile bass that we just went over with this Vibration X Junior. Six inch size, you know, think about all those little bass that you catch occasionally on a drop shot or a small worm or even on a jerk bait or something. Those guys are on the menu. So if you start catching those things, fish a six inch mag draft in nude bass, you, you'd be surprised at what kind of bites this generates. And this is a bait I actually like fishing with the stock option when I can get away with it as far as the cover I'm fishing. You know, brush, uh, sparse brush, you know, grass lines, rock walls. I'm fishing it stock. I, I'm not really rigging it weedless like I like to do with the bigger baits that I'm bottom bouncing with. I mean, frankly, in this size, I can take a five inch spark shad and throw it on a jig head or rig that on a weedless hook and fish it in the same manner and get similar results. So this is a bait that I actually do like fishing stock. And it's, it's one that you can throw on a flipping stick or a heavy jig rod. Um, you don't need swim bait specific tackle to throw it. It's only six inches long, ounce and a quarter. And it's got that shimmy shimmy, yeah, you know, ODB style. That body roll, man. Fish love it. I fished this on a number four decoy egg snap. Not, not the biggest, not the number threes that I use on the hard baits. Give it a whack. And to finish it up, if you guys are sleeping on the truth, and I ain't talking about Paul Pierce. Got a little restock on dot crawlers here. The Ochi IU color, the green pumpkin blue flake color. Uh, honestly, all the colors straight up get bit. Plenty of videos on the channel here uh, featuring this bad boy. You can fish a Texas rig, wacky rig, Neko rig. I believe it was Neko. That's how the Japanese to to uh, homies told me I, it, it needs to be pronounced. It's not Nico. It's Neko. But I could have just butchered that too. Get these while you guys can. Uh, word on the street is they might not be available anymore. So I'm stocking up while I can. But then, after all that big crappie dream shenanigans, uh, restocking on the three inch ghost, sh ghost shad pattern in the haze, or the hazidong shad, as my friend Tetsuya would say. He's Japanese, so he should know. But killer drop shot bait, killer slip shot bait, killer underspin bait, small jig head bait, um, anytime I need a finesse minnow profile. That's, that's the deal right there. Ask Dave DeLuca, he knows. 
And then to wrap it up, we've got a couple of new glass options or eyewear options from Amphibia. Those of you guys aren't familiar with this brand, they're out of Texas, Dallas area. All their glasses float, their patented arms here. Super sick new design, it's called the Lotus. Comes in a variety of frame colors and lens colors. This not this sick red one is actually a, a favorite of a new favorite of mine. I've used it in sunny conditions, overcast conditions, and uh, been able to see a lot of things that my friends on the boat couldn't see. Here's a, a gray lens on a darker frame, brand new. Super sick, super clear. They're ANSI rated. They won't shatter. Let's say you take a uh, punch weight to the face or the or straight to your glasses. That's not going to shatter and put glass in your eye. So, but most importantly, the clarity of these lenses is, and it's insane. Um, I'm seeing things in the water that uh, my friends and my clients on the same boat, you know swear isn't there when I, i'm staring directly right at these things so check those out those are up on the website link below and then we got several of the new hat designs here from big bass streams all up for pre-order right now these are all samples but they should be shipping within the week cork they've all got the logo on the underside of the bill and these are 100% Big Bass Dreams hats. Got black denim, trucker. Appreciate all the support you guys throw towards the brand. Catch Fish Not Feelings is back. Always a popular one. You know, if you guys find value in this platform and, and in this channel and this brand, uh, thank you. Thank you guys for supporting us directly hat purchases, apparel purchases, sticker purchases, which are coming back, by the way. Um, you know, even just sharing the hashtags on, on Instagram, Facebook, leaving comments, like it's all good. We definitely appreciate the guys that are rocking the movement. But we also appreciate everybody that's just got a good, good attitude about it. Like, we don't care what you guys are wearing. We don't care what click you, rock, you run with. You guys got a passion for fishing and you're cool. Like we can be friends, man. Let's all hang out. So with that being said, looking forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure. If you see us on the water, see us on the road, feel free to stop, say hello, introduce yourselves. We love meeting, meeting you guys. All of these baits you can find all this dope stuff also through our friends and affiliate at The Hookup Tackle in Arizona. We will link each one of these baits down below in the description for you guys. So that's a wrap. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on my fifth crew, and my rinse too, six and west roof, I can see it all, hold on to my hand, that's my little dude.